Frostpunk. A beautiful game. I actually love this game so much. It's just pretty much a city, bu city building survival game. You're pretty much going to manage people, manage what they're doing, and you're pretty much just going to see. Um, although I haven't played it for a long time. Flex scenario, is that it? Oh, yeah. Main story, should we do the main story? Or should we do an entrance? I think we'll do main story. We'll do main story. Yeah. Um, let's do a medium, because this is actually such a brutal game. It's, it's just absolutely brutal. So many people end up dying all the time, and it's just horrible. And then you run out of resources, and then you can't build stuff, and then you, people aren't there as resources as well. Some people can be um, medics that they help in medicinal areas, and they fix people's frostbite and stuff. And you just can't have that without people. You can't have people without no you can't have food without people you can't have people taking care of roam people. the still cold world no horizon in sight the rulers of old stripped of pride and glory it feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress until the frost Stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We've lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. to plenty, and for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope pushed us forward, slowly, step by step. We knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. New home. We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen, solid, and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world as we know it has crumbled. We have to survive. Frostbunk, man. This game is just... I actually, oh, I love it. I can't get enough of it. I love, I love city building games, like city, city skylines. Um, but city skylines felt a bit bland. This has, this has that spice to it, uh, but opposite of spice, I guess, because everything's cold. Okay, let me just remember the controls. E, that, blah blah. blah. Yeah, spin, spinny, spin. Right, I need to get people getting coal and wood. Wood is important to build houses. Coal is important to keep the generator on. So, which I can't do yet because I obviously don't have coal. Get some people there. Is that a coal pile? So, at the moment, we have to get coal piles. And as we get wood and coal piles and everything, we can start making coal thumpers. Um, where is it? Construction. 
can't see it here, but at the moment, this is what we have. And then we get to actually have Book of Laws so we can have our own government. And with our own government, we can have our economy. This will show my coal per day, how much coal consumption I'm having. Same with wood and steel and food. Uh, but you know what, I can't even... I think at the moment you can't find the upgrades, but you'll be able to upgrade using resources. And then that's when here we'll show more things. For instance, there'll be bigger medical posts. There'll be bigger tents and that will turn into houses. Bigger workshops, you name it. So if I turn the speed up, you see the... Look at them. They're out in the... what? I didn't even know how freaking six foot high fucking snow and just marching their way through it. I guess it's only minus 20 degrees though. That's... It's not that bad to how it can normally be. Uh, I'll provide some... Oh yeah, there's also things like this where you get little objectives from people and if you don't... If you say, no, I'm not going to do that, then the hope goes down and discontent rises. Discontent is something... You know, it's like people getting angry. Crap like that. The wisdom of the crowd. Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for quicker solutions. Not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. So fixing these objectives that people get you to do actually rises the hope and puts the discontent down. If one of these bars empties or fills up, then that's game over. As well as people dying and as well as people freezing to death. So I'm going to need that one. Look at that. The to detail in this game is so good as well. So there's actually times where you can turn up the radius of this cock generator and it will just be such a wide circle around it that the snow has melted away. But that gets really hard to get into. And we're just starting up. What do I have to do? Build houses here. Tents. Okay. Oh, uh, I should probably... <coughs> uh, okay. I should probably build a road. Um, what was the rotate button? Is that the rotate? No, it's the middle one as well. Okay. Yeah, that's alright. Um, all three of those fur... Oh, I'm not using the mouse to rotate the camera again. Yeah, and because everything's kind of government-wise as well, they don't really... They don't really want to work for long, you know. They don't get paid, obviously, because they're just trying to survive. Um, but yeah, nobody wants to work for long, so they'll have shifts. And over time, with the Book of Laws, you can actually extend those shifts if you wanted to. It's just... This game is too good. It's, it's just too good. It's so in-depth. Starting to turn, so the time is here, three degrees is here. Three, to, this would tell you people on normal work shifts are free to work. Yeah, that would tell you the shifts. Here's the coal, here's the wood, here's the steel, and there's a steam core there for later when we start actually having machines that can do things for us, like gather coal and everything. Oh, yeah, food that's that's a thing, that is a thing that people need, isn't it? Place it over here. Yeah. Okay, we've got coal just piling up, which is good. We need, okay, so yeah, this is where the numbers of the people come in. Sometimes you have to sacrifice some people getting coal or whatever so they can work in something like a hunter's hut. So these people will gen generally just go out, find some food, and bring it back. Uh, we'll sacrifice some wood as well for some food. Oh, food is so hard to come by in this game. It just... it's just horrible. And most of my people are homeless, so that's, that's not a good thing. Okay. I do like to make kind of... these... little pavement roads kind of thing. They might not do more space, but they do more space around one singular area, kind of like a neighbourhood. And then we can kind of make that neighbourhood around that one singular area. And then I would normally just expand it out, but 
we don't have much heat back there. No, I just did the objective, the hope goes up, and discontent is going up, I don't know why. Oh yes, I have engineers that I'm not using, so I can use them. Oh, no, my stomach is actually hurting a bit, because I had this whole bag of Doritos, and it was spicy. It was the new um, cheesy, tangy Doritos, and oh my god. It was just so spicy, like, it was fine, like, the first ten were okay, it's so manageable, like, you couldn't, you couldn't even tell it was spicy. And then after, like, the 20th Dorito, it's just spice. You might, I might as well have roasted some potatoes and eaten it whole, straight out of the oven. It was just, it was just, it was horrid. And now my stomach is hurting because I think I ate on an empty stomach and that's, uh, I don't think my body is used to that. Shelter for 15 people within one day. Easy peasy. You ready? You ready? Are you ready? Boom. Hold on. This, these are the roads first. <laughs> I like neatness. Neatness is just nice to have as well as organization. Look at that. Boom. That that is nice. See, just a little neighborhood kind of thing. Uh, for 15 people, did he say okay? Um. Might have to sacrifice it. I'm gonna sacrifice it, yep. Gonna sacrifice that bit of space and that bit of space. So, I'm not all about organization, but some organization is better than no, no organization. Thing is, they're a bit cold, so if I look at the temperatures here, they're not that bad though, they're livable, they're livable, it's doable, it's doable. Uh, how's the food doing? The food, we've got raw food. I didn't make a place to cook. You see, you can get a hunter's hut, but you also need a place where cooking is a thing. Yeah, cooking is a thing, in fact. So, that's why the discontent is going on. Basic resources secured now, we can try and rescue the people that were left behind. So, yeah, we get five dollars. Uh, it's gone up by. Well, it's gone down by 20 degrees, so it's minus 40 now. So I reckon there's a yeah, it's not livable in the food there. Um, build a workshop with the beacon. Yeah. Okay. We'll get some more coal coming our way. Uh, we'll get some more wood crates. More coal as well. Steel, we can save that for later. Gathering post, that's good. Uh, people working here gather resources from nearby piles. Okay. It's, mm, it's not really worth it right now, I don't think. Workshops, brilliant. This, these are for the upgrades. Yeah. Workshops are for the upgrades. So, put a workshop there. Uh, the radical. Oh, ho, ho, I forgot. I I went straight into the game talking about laws, and I didn't even apply a law first. So once you apply a law, it's set by um, time limit. So you'll have like 24 hours until you can do the next law. And I should have done that straight away, really. Um, I think radical. Treatment. Yeah, treatment is always good first. Grave Leo will be kept alive, but unwanted. Be treated. Now, what would you guys rather? Would you rather gravely ill be keeping a, kept alive in medical posts, but untreated? Or would you rather them be treated? I know I would rather. I would rather them be treated. Okay, so I'm going for the radical treatment. Some people are going to be amputees, but at least they'll be alive and treated. I just hope they don't cut my life. Well... Oh, well. Yeah, I'm gonna open a new medical post. It's literally gonna open right now. And three, two, one, boom. Boom. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so, it doesn't really count as being open until people are working there. 
And here are the upgrades. We've got upgrades for heating, exploration and industry, resources, and food, health, and shelter. <sighs> I think steam harbors, definitely. Yeah, steam harbors definitely the best way to go at the moment. There we go, hope prizes, because I opened one of those. We need gonna steal some more engineers for the upgrades. Lovely upgrades. Uh, first thing is gonna be I'm gonna have to spend 20 steel for steam hop, which I don't have the way. Yeah, I don't I don't think I have 20 steel. Now I've got five steel. Okay, I'm gonna need to get more people to get steel. I've got wood. People aren't homeless anymore. So yeah, I guess it's alright. Open the book of laws. Work is needed. Okay, well. Right. Oh, no. Didn't mean to do that. The best thing next would be definitely to deal with the dead people. Because there's going to be a lot of people dying. So, here's the difference, right? So a cemetery, new, I'll get a new building and I can place a cemetery down where people can get buried. Each burial will keep some people from work for a few hours. You will have to establish a cemetery, of course. So we can do that or we can get a corpse disposal. So I'll get a snow pit. Um, no, there'll be no risk of disease from unburied bodies. Bodies are preserved for potential future use. You have to dig a snow pit. Hope will fall and discontent will rise because obviously there's going to be people in the pit. So what would you guys rather? Would you rather the cemetery or would you rather the corpse disposal? So I'm going to end that here. If you want to let me know in the comments which one you prefer, let me know. And if you like the video, give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you. See you in the next one.